I just want to start off by saying I hope that you had a great holiday season. I personally celebrate Christmas and Christmas time was really great. I had my sister, two sisters over, my nephew and my boyfriend and it was just an amazing experience. We played games together and just hung out and I made gumbo. It was just really amazing to have him here and <laughs> I felt great to be able to host a holiday at my home. So today's budget meeting is a week late. However, <laughs> I'm still going to do it because I want to hold myself accountable to still keeping track of my budget. So this budget will look a little bit messy than in the past because I've actually already gotten paid. And this is for my second paycheck of um, December and I get paid bi-weekly. If you haven't already done so, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, on my channel, I share videos on personal finance. I go over my debt-free journey. I even give money-saving tips. Um, so this paycheck is my second paycheck for December 22nd to January 4th. And I had a goal to save $500 for my roof, which I did. Um, upcoming purchases, um, I had to pay for a resort. I'll be going on a trip very soon, which I'm excited about. Uh, my mortgage, gas, water, cell phone are, were the upcoming bills, which I've paid. And for my teaching gig, I got paid $3,119. Pretty sweet. We got an extra, I got two, I think two stipends on this paycheck. So it was, you know, it was great. I'm like, well, why can't I get paid this much every other week? <laughs> okay. And I did say 500 towards my roof fund, which... Yes, I'm gonna keep talking about that. So my budget. So gas, I budgeted $100, which I already spent. That's why I put a check mark there. So this budget is going to show you what it looks like at the end, you know, as I'm going through my budget. For groceries, I did start my groceries, but um, I didn't even spend all of this. So I only spent $50 on groceries. So that's pretty great. That was a $30, no, $50 difference. What am I saying? $30. Car maintenance. I spent some of this. I think it was $30. And so I still have $70 to spend. And I'm still going to spend that $70. Um, easy tag. I don't believe I'll even need that because I get paid again next week. And I haven't been taking the toll. So I'm going to put zero. And that's a $40 difference. Um, mortgage, I already paid that, $750, which is half of it. Dating, I already used that money, which is $100. Um, car insurance was only $128. USAA is pretty dope because at the end of the year, we get um, <laughs> dividends that we can apply towards our um, auto insurance or they'll send you a check or put it in your USAA bank account. So it's pretty dope. Um, I saved $62. Gas utility was 40, water utility 78, Netflix $20, giving, which hasn't been taken out of my account yet. Um, so I contribute $210 every month to um, Texas Southern University, which is an HBCU here in Houston. And it's an HBCU where my grandparents went to school and I started a scholarship fund for them, um, an endowment scholarship fund for them so that you know their name will and their legacy will live on forever and it's something that that's some that's the main reason I want to be um financially <laughs> you know financial independent um is because I want to leave a legacy for my family and this is a start for that um so every month I give towards that and eventually after they're invested the money, uh, students will get like a thousand dollars every. They'll give out a thousand dollars scholarship every year, and then eventually it'll be two thousand, three thousand, and over time it will get better. Of course, um, with interest, and when they're the university invests the money. Okay, so pet one hundred spent that. Alarm systems thirty four dollars total. Cell phone, my cell phone bill was eighty nine dollars. I expected it to be more because I did go to. Jamaica and I use my phone um, and I text and I use some of my data. I tried not to, I tried to use Wi-Fi. So I'm expecting that maybe next month's cell phone bill might be a little more. Uh, my cell phone bill is typically $90. Christmas gifts, I spent like $200 on Christmas gifts. So 
Um, I did budget it at the very last minute, <laughs> Christmas gifts. Um, and bought gifts on Amazon. And I actually got paid early, so they helped me out. Mortgage, I gave, I did an additional 150 because I overspent the last paycheck 150 and I usually save like 750 for one paycheck and 750 for the next paycheck and then pay it all at once um, because that's how my mortgage requires you to do it or they will count it as an extra payment. Uh, roof savings 500. Dresser, I didn't do that because the dresser drawer that I have, well, the, the chest of drawers, I don't know. I call it a dresser. The dresser that I have, I want to get a matching one in my bedroom. Um, they ran out, it's out of stock in Ikea, so I didn't get that. Um, and I did book my resort at, in Mexico for $300. Actually, the resort was fairly cheaper than what I expected. It was only $200, um, but I added insurance to get travel credit just in case that my trip get canceled. And I also got airport transfer, all for $300. That's pretty dope. I booked it through Cheap Caribbean and I use them a lot because it's so convenient for me to um, just use the same company that have my credit card on file. And they usually have really great prices. They're competitive to um, like other websites, Expedia. And yeah, so that's pretty much my budget. Um, for December 22nd to January 4th. So be looking out for a video from me on next week because I will be getting paid next week. Um, I think January 5th, maybe? I don't know. Um, but yes, so I will be getting paid and then I'll be recording my budget uh, meeting. And I'll also be doing a recap of how the month of December went for my budget and maybe a net worth update. I probably will do that, um, even though my net worth hasn't changed that much. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and check out some of my other videos.